What's up everybody today with another toy review of Harry Potter, the boy who lives. Now this is, I had this figure for a while, the McFarlane Harry Potter figures. I'm still missing Ron and Hermione, which I will get. But I do love the packaging of the movie, like it gets the feel of the movie, if you can see right here. It's really cool, I must say, but like, this is a toy review, I get to finally open this. Oh shit, yeah, the plastic is breaking already. <laughs> Basically. Oh. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, something else. Okay, don't need that. Oh, cool, so the background is like this Harry Potter thing, which is actually cool with the wanted posters. And of course, here we have the figure. <laughs> Yo, this figure is really cool. Let's open this up. Oh, so it's cool, we get the uh, Patronus charm, which is Lily, as we know, as Severus say. Spectre Patron! I love, I love that movie. We have to take off the... Damn. Damn, man. Oh, we get, this, uh, we get the two horns of the deer. You can see I was showing the close-up. And of course, we get his stand. Damn. This movie comes with a lot of accessories. I do must say, <laughs> stuff just now flying out. It comes with its stand. As you can see here, parts of it. Here we have its stand. And now for the figure itself. There's a lot of duct tape in this figure. Okay, yo! Okay, oh wait, we can't forget his wand, of course. So we got Harry's wand, I'm gonna put that here. And then we come, oh, the figure still comes with this cool Harry Potter stand, which is very cool, but yo, this figure is cool. Like, the likeness of this figure is very cool. I'm very happy with this figure. So here we have him with the Voldemort and Fallen figure, which also I will do a toy review. But it seemed them side to side, what I think is super accurate, because if you can see like the comparison here, like the height is pretty accurate, which for me always very important. I like height accuracy when it comes to these figures. And next to Voldemort, because Voldemort is taller, I feel like this is very accurate and it looked great together with them battling and fighting each other. Yo. <laughs> Here we have him with the Marvel Legends Storm and with the Marvel Legends Wolverine. And you can see Daniel Radcliffe can play Wolverine because it's the same height. So if you swap hands, you can have Daniel Radcliffe as Wolverine, which is not a bad choice, I must say, to be honest. But like the height comparison is very cool. So even if you put it on the shelf next to each other or do some fun crossover toy photography, it looks actually very good. But I do think Harry is a little bit too tall. I do think I would say, like, it's just a little bit. I think he should have been as, the same height as the Wolverine figure. Like, he's a little bit taller than that. Here we have him with the Batman Who Laughs McFarlane figure and the Batman Arkham Knight McFarlane figure. And it's also like Pretty good, like this McFarlane figure stands pretty well, even though it's a little bit shorter than the average McFarlane figure, but it still looks good. Even if you do, like I said, you want to do some chrono crossover or uh, scale wise, because I'm always interested, because every figure always has a different scale, even for McFarlane. So I'm always curious to see, like, what can you do? So if you post them on the shelf, or especially when you do toy photography, like me, like, you know, so the scale is not too much of a difference where you have to then cut around and switch too much around. But it looks pretty good, actually. You can do do some Harry Potter going on with Batman on an adventure. Here we have him with the Star Wars Black Series Maze Window and Star Wars Black Series Dark Vader. As you can see, he's as tall as Dark Vader, the figure. So I don't know, the height accuracy is a little bit not accurate here, I would say. I don't think Daniel Radcliffe is taller than uh, Dark Vader. It's because he's so short, people want him to play Wolverine. But it still looks all right. I mean, if you just have him placing on your shelf, it looks all right. If you have more multiple McFarlane figures, you can put him next to the Star Wars Black Series figures. So it doesn't look too bad. Here we have him with the DC Icons Joker and the DC Icons Harley Quinn. Now the hand did broke, but there are multiple hands with her, so it's not okay. But like this, I feel like is also like the height doesn't quite fit well with these figures, but just for comparison with different toy lines, because I'm always curious how does the other toys scale match with the other ones. With this one, like I said, the, match, the scale doesn't quite fit with this one, I would say. Like you need, if you collect these, like it doesn't look quite as good on the shelf next to each other. And here we have him with the 2001 Harry Potter toy base, Quidditch Harry, 
which I had for a very long time since I was a little kid, but I did think it would be fun to comparison like those two. I kind of said like he didn't come, he doesn't come with a broom, but I mean we do have the Patronus charm with it, which is also cool, but it would have been cool to get a broom with it, but like, yeah, as far as comparison goes, but like, This figure is cool, this figure is cool if you love Harry Potter, I love Harry Potter, which we'll get more figures, but yeah, thanks everybody for watching, as always, see you next time.